Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Hope everybody's doing well today. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch gallery wrapped canvas. I'm going to be doing a, set, a pearl cell pour on this. And I'm showing you my base coat here, which is just the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And I will have in the description all the pouring mediums. And here I'm showing you my colors. The first color is Amsterdam Reflex Yellow. My next color is Modern Masters Turquoise Green. My next color is the Amsterdam Carmine. And my last color is the DecoArt Peacock Pearl. Only using four colors today. And again, the pouring medium for those four colors will be in the description. And here I am just going to uh, start laying the paint down, the base coat. Again, this is a pearl cell pour. And I got my recipes from CJ of CJ Pours. I will list her name in the description. And here I am just giving it a quick torch. That first color I'm laying down is the Modern Masters Turquoise Green. No rhyme or reason to how I'm laying the paints down. These paints are quite thin. I did water them down and the base coat is also thin. This second color here is that DecoArt Peacock Pearl. It's a very pretty color. This third color is the um, Amsterdam Carmine. I can tell you the pouring medium for these paints was one part paint, one part Liquitex pouring medium, and one part water. So again, they are quite thin. The last paint I'm laying down is that Amsterdam Reflex Yellow. As you can see right now, where I laid that orange down, the Carmine, it is disappearing and I think I did have an issue with my Carmine and that uh, Reflex Yellow being a little bit thinner than my other two paints. And they do get swallowed up here with the with the, the tilting as you'll see coming up. Here I'm just putting the base coat out to the edge to help move the paint when I go to do the tipping. And here I decided to add a little bit more paint. And again, where you can see where I, I'm adding more of that carmine, it just really does get swallowed up by that base coat. And here goes the tipping. Again, this is a gallery wrapped canvas, so it has an inch and a half uh, width sides on it. The paint is moving really nice. I do have quite a bit of paint on this canvas yet. Just cleaning off the bottom here, checking the sides and the corners. Again, I decide I'm going to just add a little bit more interest to the painting. Here I'm trying to add some of that carmine back in with my popsicle stick and I'm trying to go along the lines that are already established just to make it look more natural. Again, if I do this pour again, I will be more mindful of trying to get all my paints the same consistency and none thinner than the others to avoid the problem that I, I did have. Just a quick torch here. And 
Now I decide I'm going to add a little bit more paint. I think I had a little bit too much negative space. Wanted to give it a little bit more color here. So just adding some more paint. And as I say in all my other videos, don't be afraid to play with your painting a little bit to make it exactly the way you want it to look. Another quick torch there. Now I'm going to do a little bit more tipping to try and incorporate what I just added here. And after this tip, I really did like how um, some of the colors were pulled out, stretched a little bit right there. I really like that, the effect that I got there by stretching those paints a little more. Just another quick torch. And here again, I'm adding some lines. And you can see some of these cells developing now, and I will let this painting sit for a little bit to see how many cells do develop. I'm just looking over the composition. Here I'm trying to add a few dots, but they do get swallowed up by the other colors. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close up and I'm trying to show you the whole painting here. I am so excited how this turned out. I let this painting sit about 30 minutes and let's go over our results here. This is the upper left hand corner some of these little white dots that you see, the pearl cells, I added myself with the end of my skewer, but a lot of them are uh, natural, coming through with that uh, white base coat. Just going down the left-hand side here, Um, I guess the only thing that I'm a little disappointed in that more of the carmine, that orange color didn't come through. But as you can see, like in this area, it's in the background and that, that really does give it just a little bit extra interest here. I did get quite a few pearl cells and I'm pretty excited about that. So if you do get a chance, check out CJ of CJ Pores. These are her recipes. And here is where that carmine did come through very faintly. And again, with my skewer, I will show you where I added a little bit more of that reflex yellow right in here, just to ha have the eye something to look at there. And I added a little bit in here, and I was lucky enough to have some of that carmine come up in this area. This is a real pretty area in here. And this is the upper right-hand corner, just coming down the right-hand side now. Lots and lots of cells. 
a lot of pretty pearl cells. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure and share it if you think anyone else would like to see this process. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet, um, please consider it to help my channel grow. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.